Hi guys, it's Jana from Class 10. We're gonna talk about this beautiful weather we are having and being outside. Now, I love being outside in the sun. I love being outside to work in my yard, in my garden, and especially to go swimming. Love to be in my pool when it's hot, hot, hot. And today is one of those days that it's gonna be hot, hot, hot. But it's very important that we protect our skin when we go outside. I personally always sunscreen myself because our skin is only our skin once. And I know we shed and we grow new skin, but we gotta protect our skin just like we need to eat healthy and drink well to keep our body hydrated. That is the number two thing very important when you're gonna be outside. You need to keep yourself hydrated. So we need to protect our skin, keep ourselves hydrated. So number one, I use all different kinds of sunscreens when I am home. Um, my son likes different kinds, I like different kinds, but I th find that it's most important to use a lotion one first. If you know you're going to go outside or go to the beach, the best thing to do is get a lotion or sunscreen, put it, rub it in your hands, rub it all on the areas everywhere you can that you are exposed to the sun. Ask somebody to help you with your back, it's not that easy to get. Um, I like the uh, lotion just because of the fact that you can cover your skin because you're rubbing it all in. Now I do have sprays. I have different kinds of sprays. I have a light body mist spray for when I'm working in the yard and everything else and I don't want to feel too sticky from it but if I'm gonna go swimming or anywhere to do with water I'll use the beach defense one which is waterproof for up to about maybe 80 minutes but I would reapply about every hour when you are directly in the sun like this. Um, the only difference with the spray and the lotion is when you spray, spray on just like this, it leaves, I know you can't see it, but it leaves blotchy spots. So after you spray, you could rub it into just like the lotion, so you cover your whole skin. Now the spray is sometimes is really, really great to use for your back if you got nobody else to help you. At least some sunscreen on your back is better than none. But try to spray yourself and get help from somebody else and cover all all parts of your skin. There's also different kinds of stuff that you can get for your face. If you don't want to rub the lotion in or anything else, they have sticks to do your nose, eyes, and everything else. And again, after you apply it, you should rub it in because then you're covering everything out of your skin. This one is a really strong one. It has zinc in it. So you guys, it's like white. This one is great for like your nose, and it leaves it a little bit of white, but it really protects your face and it helps the zinc in it helps the sun to penetrate the sun from burning your skin. I also have used it for other parts of my body where I have, um, I'm very sensitive to the sun where I burn a lot, especially like right here on my shoulders, I burn very easy. My chest burns very easy and even the tops of my feet. So I actually like to use the zinc one for the tops of my feet. I do use the lotions for other parts of my body and I just constantly apply them and reapply them. So as you can see, I have a wooded area behind me, which is the state trail behind there and the Scaharie Creek. I go walking back there a lot with my dog, Lucy Ghost. She has a good time. We play Frisbee, we walk the trail. However, I do protect myself a lot from mosquitoes and ticks. Ticks are very bad. They can get you sick. Same with mosquitoes. Mosquito bites and everything else can get you sick if you're really sensitive. So it's a good idea to spray yourself with some bug spray. I do have this one. This is you know, more or less for the mosquitoes and everything else. I do cover it. I actually use a different kind called Wonderside, which is more natural. Um, you can use it on your pets, you can use it on young kids, you can use it around the area that you're in. I like this stuff, it really works. That is my choice, but regular good old bug spray is better than nothing. So you wanna protect yourself if you're going out walking in the woods. Now, the other important thing is to, when you're protecting your skin and everything else, you should wear a hat. Your scalp burns really easy and it's not easy to sunscreen your scalp, so wearing a hat would definitely help you not burn your scalp. And it also protects your face too and your eyes. Some people are very sensitive, very sensitive to the sun. 
um, especially if you're blue-eyed. My son is blue-eyed. He is very sun um, sensitive, so he will wear sunglasses while he's outside. I wear sunglasses just because I don't like the sun in my eyes. But when Davin, my son, goes in the pool, he wears his goggles, which have a protection on them. They're for the sun rays, uh, don't go through them. They're mirrored, so you can kind of see what, you know, your reflection in them. But they are basically sunglasses for the pool. And he gets really sensitive to chlorine, so if you, do not like chlorine in your eyes, wearing swim goggles would help you out a lot. Now let's talk about pool. Right here's a pool. I, my pool is definitely a chlorinated pool, so I have to use chemicals to keep my pool water as clean as possible. Some of us are very sensitive, um, some of us are not, but it's very important after you're done using the pool to wash yourself, get the chlorine and all, anything off your skin because you can get dry skin, itchy, and everything else. So it's a good idea to take a shower after you're done using the pool. So, and also, if you're in the water for like an hour or, or more, you should get out, reapply sunscreen to protect your skin. So guarantee you don't burn because when you're in the water, the reflection from the sun always comes up and you can burn very easy and very quickly. So very important to reapply that sunscreen. Also, last thing I'm gonna talk about is hydration. When it's hot, hot, hot like it is today, the sun makes you sweat and we lose water out of our skin. So it is very important to drink. The most important thing to drink is water. You're losing water, you need to replenish water. I know a lot of you do drink water, so it's the best thing to do is to keep drinking water. So if you're in the pool, get a plastic bottle like this Keep it by the pool. Take sips throughout the, you know, the time that you're in the pool. It's very important to keep yourself hydrated. However, this is not the best thing to drink. It's got a lot of sugar in it and it's gonna make you feel thirstier. So you won't be hydrated from all that sugar. So the best thing is to do is to drink what? Water, not this. No soda, not a good thing. Soda, if you drink soda and you're allowed to do it, Best thing to do is have it with a meal, not when you're outside at a beach or at a pool or anything else. I know one of our other favorite drinks is this, Gatorade, Powerade, any kind of aid. It's got electric lights in it, so it is okay to drink like one of them, but please remember if you drink more than that or you're drinking this throughout the day, it is also not the best thing to keep drinking because it has sugar in it. Again, like I told you, sugar will uh, not hydrate you and you will feel thirstier. So once again, water. However, I do like to change it up. I don't always, I don't drink soda very often, but I do like salsa water. Salsa water does not have any sugar in it. So if you like that bubbly effect, a can of good salsa water and this one's flavored with wine. You guys might re really like it better than soda. All right guys, so it's very important on a day like today, or even a cloudy day. If it's cloudy out and you're outside, trust me, you guys can still get burned. So protect that skin, drink lots of fluid, and have fun. All right, guys, this is Jana from class 10. See you next time.